Hi guys, it's your girl K did again. Another video uploading. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, this is basically a video about New York City subway stations. Okay. I talk about the MTA a lot on my channel because they they irk me. But today is really not about it's about them but not them. It's basically saying what you find in the subway station. I should do a I should do a full video like that. Just walk in the subway and then take pictures and do videos like that. I'm gonna do that one day when I have the time. Certain things you can find in the subway station. Of course, you can find big old fat cat looking rats. These rats in New York is running the streets and they also run the subway station. It's ridiculous. I, I think I've seen like one, one of them or two of them so far, but people see, see them all the time running on the tracks. I'm surprised they don't like just get execu executed. Electrocuted because <laughs> they're foolish. They just run across the tracks. They, I think they, this one guy saw a video. And he was standing in the subway. All of a sudden, he just saw a rat and he kicked it off to the... It was just disgusting. People find period blood on seats. I haven't found that yet. But people have told me that they find period blood like blood on seats. It's disgusting, really. I don't understand because when I went to Chicago on their train, they even have a train for... I think it's called a quiet... Quiet train? Quiet... Um, am I from Chicago? I know what I'm talking about. I think it's called the quiet car. Something like that. Me, when I first, not first time going to Chicago, but the first time I was taking the train in Chicago in 2012, I went, I went on a train, and I went with this girl, and we was talking, being mad loud, being mad, you know, ourselves, and the person said, shh, shh. we're confused, they tell us to be quiet, I'm like, what are you talking about? Come to find out, they do have a, I get a car, was only for things like people have to be quiet in it, you can't be loud, I guess their life was so stressed out, they need a car just for, for quietness and peace. It's ridiculous. I went to Canada too, a um, couple of years, like probably like, I feel like it's been probably eight or nine years, not since I've been to Canada, but since I've been on the, the train in Canada, and their trains is so silent, you can't hear it at all, it's, first of all, Canada in a whole is clean, so you can't even spit on the floor without getting a ticket, it's crazy, but New York City is a different story. You could find, first of all, what you could find to get, you could get things sold to you, anything in the subway in New York City. If you don't know, now you know. All right. You get candy bars, M&M's, Snickers, Skittles, um, Welch's fruit snacks. You can get, what's that thing called? The Graham, not Graham cracker, but it's like neutral grain bars. You can get incense. You can get fidget spinners. You can get key rings. You can get, um, what else? I'm surprised they don't sell weed on the trade because honestly, they will make a lot of money, boo. I haven't seen any, like, Chinese people sell CDs in a while on the trade, but back, like, a couple of years, like, when bootlegs was the popping thing, even though they're still, they go, right like, store to store now, I haven't seen them in the subways as they used to be. Because them bootleg people used to be on the subways crazy. They used to be in the subway station, setting up their gear, but when the police came and picked them up, people just, they, they can't, they're not supposed to sell anyway, and it's bootleg. People used to, like, randomly take up their stuff and bounce because technically you're not supposed to be selling it anyway, so they just picked it up, and it's whatever. What else you could sell in, oh my, you could sell so much, people sell so many things. Books. Poem. This one. Oh my God. I should even tell the story because it's so horrible. This guy. I feel like he's a, either a high school student or a college student. I forgot what he he said what he was, but I think it's probably he's a high school student. And he has this poem. I think it's about the orange. I think it was orange. And he was talk like the the poem didn't rhyme. I know all poems don't rhyme, but it was, I feel like it was nothing. He said it was a certain type of poem, but I feel like that was a, it wasn't it. But whatever. I'm not a po poet, philanthropist, or whatever you want to call it. I just know it didn't. Uh, it's whatever. He, I guess he tried. He was selling it, I think, for a quarter or something like that. <laughs> he said, I like the color orange. I eat oranges. Like, I was just like, what? Are you serious right now? I, I was so daggone astonished. I was like, really? You could see break dances of all shapes and sizes on a train. I know people who actually... I met my friend from high school. Not friend, but acquaintance um, from high school. And he was one of the break dancers in the train. I was like, really? Really? But I knew they was doing it. But I thought they had... The time when I saw him, like, last year, or uh, probably this year, I thought he stopped doing it. So I was surprised to actually see him. He said he doesn't do it all the time, though. Okay. What else can you see? You see steppers. I've seen steppers in the train. You see drummers in the train in New York City. Drummers. They be going... Sometimes the beat be hot. They be like, mm, I want to jam. I want to jam. Um, 
What else they got in the train? Steppers, dancers, people who have buckets and make it as into drums. Um, you have a lot of singers, a lot of people selling their own CDs, a lot of people selling, I said, books before. What else can you find in the subway trains? Like, you can find so many things. It's like, I would like to see a flash mob on the subway train. I've seen a video of it, but I definitely want to see one in person. I think that would be pretty, pretty cute and cool. Um, I've been in a flash mob before, guys, it's, you know, in college. It was fun. I liked it. Um, what else you could find in the subway? I, I should have made a list. Because you could find so much stuff in subways. You could find tea on the floor, tea on the um, chairs, coffee on the chair. I, I'm not going to say nothing. My daughter one time spoke Cheerios on the train. Well, a couple of times. I had to just, put it, just be nice and kind of sweep it under the chair so people don't step on it that much. I felt kind of bad, really. I'm like, they get enough of my money. Oh, well, well, not going to kill them. Sometimes, you know, she's a kid. She's going to knock it over. What else can you see in the train? Um... I seen so many. The first time I saw incense in the train was a couple of weeks ago. I was like, incense? Who's buying incense on the train? But I guess it's a good idea. You could go to your customers. Your customers don't have to come to you. Um, I feel like I've seen perfume get sold on the train before. People sell so many things. All of a sudden, they're going to start having a black market, like heart transplant on the train. I promise you. Or something like that. Because they always, anything that comes out, they got it on the train. It's crazy. Crazy. And then they have the one for the homeless people. These two, I so far I seen I think two or three different people do it. But it's this one big guy. He's always he's been doing for years. I've been seeing him since I was like forever. Like when I was like way back then. They said they doing um they have like sandwiches and chips and all that for people who are hungry, and they give it out on the train, and they ask for donations in their little Pringles cup. <laughs> Kiki, what happened? Kiki, you okay? Done with you. I don't know what else can you find on a subway. What you just you be surprised. Oh my god, the other day in the subway, this lady had and her kids was they came out, but I guess she rushed out too, too much out of it out of the train. She left one of her bags behind. So we're actually at the, the one with the conductor in the middle. Is he even called a conductor? But whatever, he's in the middle of the train and. She knocks on the subway door. I don't know if he saw her or not. I'm not really sure. But she knocks on the door. Usually, I think if he knew her bag was in there, he probably would have stopped the train and opened it for her. But he didn't. She's knocking on the door, knocking on the door, knocking on the door. And I guess point to her bag. And the man was um saying, he, it was a white guy who actually, it was a black lady with her kids. And white man saw the, the bag. And she just gave it to, Kiki, what's wrong? She don't want my feet near her. She don't like my feet. Oh my gosh. Her feet is not that bad, KK. So she's screaming, carrying on because my feet is near her, her, um, her bed. Mess. When you have your, your dogs on me in the train, I don't say, well, I do say something. I take up. When she's in the train, she, she try to relax or be like, I'm her couch. So I'm like, no, boo boo. Put your feet down. This is not your house. This is the train station. So, yes. So, yeah. So the guy, I told the guy just to give it to the guy inside, the conductor person. And she, he will. Like if she was smart, I hope she she went to go to the MTA and call about it. Because I, my mother, when I was younger, one time I lost my mother's bag. She blamed it on me, but I was a kid. She should have kept her own dago bag, if you ask me. But whatever. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, whatever. But she got her bag back. Um, it was on the 85. She lost it on. I remember like it was yesterday. It was probably like five or six when it happened. My brother wasn't born yet, and he's born when I was seven. And we called MTA. MTA said they found her back and she went to MTA. I don't think she called it. She just went automatically there and get it. Because it was on Jamaica Avenue. That station for the for the um, buses. So, what else can you find there? They have cheese it sometimes on the um, the train. You be, you can find a whole bunch of hullabaloo on the train. On the train track. You can see all type of drunk people. It be drunk galore. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but I haven't seen that much. I see people who are homeless on the train, but not as much as before. I feel like I said before I saw so many homeless people. Now I see that they're cutting back down or just sleeping in the stations itself. The back in the day, I didn't like to sit at the side of the um. You know how the train cars have the two seats at the side, like because the train has like how do I explain it? The last part of the door and the other last part they have those chairs at the side. The homeless people used to sleep there. So I, at one point, I would stop actually sitting there. But now I sit there. Because I'm like, I'm tired. I need to sit down. But I, I feel like I'm invading their territory. Because that's their secret spot. But now they don't care where they sleep. They sleep 
anyway they want to sleep in the train so yeah one day i should tell you how i slept in the train overnight that'd be an interesting story if you want to hear that story just comment below and i'll say train overnight story halloween and i know what you're talking about okay um what else can you find in a train oh my gosh people send people sell so much stuff it's crazy you be so, so pr yo yo the train has so much crap to be sold this i don't know but i feel like for the the money we put inside the train system and the, the bus system it should be so much better and i feel like the newer buses don't hold that much people either if, i don't know the older buses are, the newer buses go, seem like it's not that strong for the snow either compared to the older buses i'm not sure i was told that the older buses probably stuck get stuck easier going down in the snow but i'm not a technician i'm not an engineer i don't really know that kind of thing so i ought to be a technician whatever but i don't know nothing about cars or vehicles so basically that's what i'm saying so i don't know what's true or not true which one is better or not better but if you know you could comment down below i'm kind of rambling guys i love to talk i kind of love to talk ish but yes if i'm talking too fast in these videos guys just tell me i think i am talking too fast though people who are used to me can understand what i'm saying but i get excited too fast and that's why i talk extra fast when i'm like you know talking um, and I have so much things in my brain to say and it's just coming out of my mouth very fast. It's just like so much ideas and things and places and whatever. But guys, this weekend I want to have some fun. I might attend a rehearsal because I have this like holiday thing coming up. So I might do that this weekend actually instead of going out. Um, I want to do large. I put some another video. I want to do laundry for the like early this weekend. I still haven't got around to it. I hopefully tomorrow or Saturday, like no, really tomorrow. I hopefully get done. Um, hopefully KK is good. Yeah, guys. If you have any tricks, tricks and tips about anything, let me know about money savers. Oh, I've been asking people this question: Where can you go to get cheap hair products? What like what's good quality? Like trade moisture for cheap. I doubt it's going to be cheap because I feel like everybody who talks about it always says expensive, which it is. But I love the kids kids line that I got for my daughter's hair. I got put it on my own hair, and it works wonders. Oh, yeah. I washed my hair the other day. I didn't have no conditioner, and I use a leave-in conditioner. Not leave-in. I mean, sorry. Uh, What is it called? Not a leave-in, but it's called a deep conditioner in my hair. I got to have the conditioner. I just said, let me just do that. And my friend who was doing my hair said my hair was very, very soft. But I think the shampoo stripped my hair, but I don't care. I feel like I needed that, that little strip on, strip off. Get all that dirt out of your hair, you know what I'm saying? I put a lot of stuff in my hair to keep it, like, moisturized. So it needs a little stripping off, you know, feel me? And I wash my hair like some, I see some people in the videos who do videos on YouTube who do, like, I feel like they wash their hair every minute. And I don't wash my hair every minute. I wash my hair probably every three or four weeks. So, you know, that's just the way it is, so... I'm still on this, you know, protective style journey. Let's see what happens with that. Have my little braids in. Is she really trying to mess with my video with her sounds? Earlier, I caught her fake sneezing. She fake sneezed about 10 or 15 times earlier. Now she's just trying to take my shine and be loud. See that? See that? When you got kids, that's what happens. So anybody who don't, who's not ready for the kids, don't have them because trust me. It can be hard work. She's not that bad, honestly. She's a real good kid. But look. She, oh, she to, even without being in the camera, she's trying to take my shine from me. She doesn't understand this is my show, my gig, my thing. KK. But yes. I'm going to bring KK on the camera one day so she can sing for you. If she'll actually do it. Because she's kind of... I'm not going to say she's shy, but I don't know. She's something else. That's my budo. Guys, God bless. Be good. Later.